QuickBooks Online, how to pay bills. Hey there, everyone. This is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. So in this video, I am walking you through how to pay bills in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so if you do not know how to enter bills, then go back and watch some of my tutorials and we'll show you how to enter the bills because you have to enter them before you can actually pay them in QuickBooks Online. So here we are on the home screen, and this is a sample company file. When you go up to new, so when you need to pay your bills, you're gonna look under vendors and see pay bills. This is going to bring up the screen of all of your bills that you have entered in QuickBooks. And you can see here, we've got the payee. Reference number is typically gonna be the bill number that you enter, which I highly recommend. The due date for the bill, the balance, any credits applied, the payment amount you are making, and then the total amount. So when you check them off, so if I check off PG&E, for example, it's gonna put in the full amount. But if I don't wanna pay the full amount, I can do 40 bucks, and what it'll do is subtract 40 from the 86.44, and next time I go in to pay bills, there's gonna be a balance of $46.44. Now, let's start at the top here. The first thing that you wanna make sure is that you are using the correct payment account. So for example, if this is coming out of your checking account, whether you're paying them electronically or you are printing a check or whatever the case may be, uh, you wanna make sure that you choose checking. If you are using a credit card to pay these bills, whether it's outside of QuickBooks or through QuickBooks, then choose the appropriate credit card. So in this example, we're gonna choose checking. It's gonna show you the balance, the payment date, which will default to today's date, starting check number and print later. Now, if you do not print checks from QuickBooks, then you will either put in the handwritten check number, if you hand wrote a check, or put in something like EFT, if this is an electronic payment, or if you use your online banking to pay bills. That way it signifies that this was not a physical check, this was an electronic funds transfer. Now, if you do print checks, you can click on print later and then go and print all your checks at the same time. Now, we're going to assume that we are paying these electronically because uh, quite honestly, that's what most people do these days. Now, for the bills that you wanna pay, you're going to go in and you're going to check off the bills. Now, you'll notice here that I have two bills to PG&E. If we want to put these in one payment, so let's say we either write one check to PG&E for the total, or we go in and just pay the whole balance online, you can check off both of these and it'll combine them in the bill pay. So the total bill payment will be 185.65 and it pays both of these bills. If you want to do separate checks, or if you do separate payments, so let's say for example, you go to online banking, you make one payment to PG&E for $86.44, and then you go in and you do a separate payment to PG&E for $99.21, then do them separately. Don't combine them in QuickBooks. And the reason is, is because in the bank feeds, it will come in as separate payments, $86.44, $99.21, and you wanna make sure that you can match those to the bill pay. So if you combine them in here, but pay them separately outside of QuickBooks, Combine them here, the bank feed will show 185.65, or I'm sorry, the bank feed will show the separate amounts, but QuickBooks will show the 185.65 and it's gonna become difficult to match. Okay, so the way to do these separately, you simply just check off one and then you're going to save it and then check off the other one, save it again, and it'll record two separate payments in QuickBooks. Okay, so let's say that we're just going to go ahead and pay all these bills. So we'll leave this last PG, PG, PG and E bill. You can see here that we have paid more than our balance. So if that's the case in your file, you definitely want to fix that. And then choose this box here. We've got a couple of options. You can save and close. Uh, you can save and print. Uh, it's totally up to you. So if they are EFT and they are all electronic, you're just going to hit save and close. And if you are printing later uh, or you want to print now, you can do save and print. It'll bring up the print prompt. So we're going to hit save and close. All right, so we hit save and close. We have now paid bills in QuickBooks Online. Now, this does not mean that these bills have actually been paid in the real world. There is a service within QuickBooks that you can 
pay these. So when you pay them in QuickBooks Online, you can set them up to be paid electronically through QuickBooks Online. There is a charge for that service. So definitely investigate that and see if that's something that you want to incur. It can get a little bit pricey. Those are the base, basics of paying bills in QuickBooks Online. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below, and I will see you in the next video.